Strasbourg, France was the host for the latest BioFit. There were more than 1,000 participants from more than 35 countries attending the partnering event. There were lots of face-to-face -face meetings between companies, academia and investors, and there was an exhibitors area and lots of presentations. LaBiotech was there to moderate one of the sessions and to do some interviews with companies in attendance. Yes, so I'm, I'm a leader of what we call external innovation and research alliances. So I'm working in R&D. I used to be a scientist and I'm taking this new job of developing partnerships uh, with biotech uh, universities. So I got a team that is covering uh, almost the entire world. And our objective is just to make sure that biotechs and universities with great innovation will come and see us and see the potential of working with animal health as a model for human health or as a directly a therapeutic solution for animal health. Because we've shown in the recent past that with monoclonal antibodies and other solutions like this that we can also bring innovation directly to our customers. Right. And this is on a global scale? Yes, global scales. I've got people in Asia, Europe, US. Uh, I'm based in Michigan, but my accent is telling you that I was born French. But I'm a US citizen now. All right. And uh, as we were discussing beforehand, people tend to think of animal health as being secondary to human, but it's clearly... It, it's a lot of stuff is done specifically for animal health. Yes, yes, so we are particularly proud to develop uh, uh, molecules uh, from scratch. So uh, I was mentioning Palladia con uh, oncology drug that was developed for the dogs from scratch. And we recently have monoclonal antibodies, uh, anti-alpha-T1 for at atopy, uh, like cytopoint or anti-NGF like Librella for osteoarthritis pain where we think we are a little bit ahead of human health and we are able to, to succeed putting this drug on the market a few years before human health. So yes, uh, it's important for us to tell uh, uh, the world that we are not just taking things on the human health shelf, we are doing uh, early research uh, and develop therapeutics specially for pets. And, uh, is it just pets or do you work with other animals? Uh, we work on a total of seven species, but it's true that uh, this innovation with uh, things that are a little bit more technically challenging, it's easier for us to position them for the pet market when it starts to be a certain cost uh, for long and chronic disease. So livestock application, we work in, in fish, in cattle, uh, all, all species. Uh, but sometimes it's a little bit more challenging to make a, a cost-effective product with a high level of innovation for certain of these species, where uh, uh, we need to find a cost-compatible uh, solution. Right. But we were talking about uh, our Improvac product, which is a diphtheria anatoxin with GnRH peptide for immunocastration of pigs. It's showing that, yes, even for livestock, we can have a high, uh, high level of uh, technicity, high level uh, 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 science, uh, even for livestock application. And you said that you were looking to more partnerships. What's the basis of that? Yes, yeah, so uh, even if we are thinking we are doing uh, great internal research, we, uh, in our current world, we need the partnership, we cannot do everything by ourselves, so uh, my team's title is external innovation because yes, we, we would like to attract, being the partner of choice for animal health, attract innovative biotech, uh, university research teams uh, to work with us, uh, using uh, the animals as a model for human health or directly developing for animal health. So. Are there any things that you're currently working on, in, either alone or in collaboration with others? Yeah, so uh, one of the key things we are working on is uh, long chronic disease for pets right now. So we work on atopy, osteoarthritic pain, and currently it's public knowledge that we are working on uh, renal, cardio, diabetes applications, so especially in biotherapeutics. Uh, so yes, uh, we are interested for and we are 
showing all our subjects of interest. We are developing a new partnership website that will be available before the end of the year where possible partners can have a look on what are our topic of interest. All right. um, you're giving a presentation here today as well? Yes, yeah, so the idea is to, to uh, ask biotech, especially in Europe. I was born uh, French, but uh, I want to now develop also our network. We are strong as though it is in Anglo-Saxon countries for collaboration, but I want also to develop other countries' uh, collaboration and biofit is a good fit for us to find uh, partners uh, in Germany, France and the south of Europe.